Hello and welcome to another technology training video. My name is Jessica. I am the technology librarian at the Wano Mount Pleasant branch. Today I'm going to be going over 10 tips for your Android device. I will be using a Samsung Galaxy tablet today. This one right here. So this might look a little bit different uh, than your phone or your tablet depending on what version of Android you're on and what specific brand or type of device that you are working with. I'll try to point out whenever things might be a little bit different uh, just so we don't get too lost there. We are going to talk about settings, um, how to get everything set up the way you want it to be, how to change things like the font size, the wallpaper, really personalize the device. Uh, we're also going to talk about editing apps, so moving apps around, placing them in folders, things like that, um, better organization. We will be talking a little bit about the keyboard and some quick typing tips. And then we'll talk about apps, so how to delete, how to install, and how to update apps. And lastly, we will go over storage, so that way you can see how much space is being used by the apps and programs on your device. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing I want to do is make sure that the software is updated on the tablet, and that's gonna live in our settings. So down here at the bottom left, where you see that cog or wheel, I'm gonna tap on that. And this option usually lives towards the bottom of our settings menu, so I'm gonna scroll down and I do see down here towards the bottom software update. So if I go into that, I can download and install any new updates that are available. I just did this recently um, and it is set to um, automatically notify me whenever there are updates available. And while we're here in settings, I wanna go over the display options that we have. So how we can personalize this and make it look the way we want it to. So we see here this third set of options. We've got display, wallpaper, and lock screen. I'm going to talk a little bit about those. So the first one, display, if I go into that, I can change the brightness level here with the slider. I can also, if I don't quite like the light mode, I can change it to dark mode. So that might be a little bit easier on the eyes. I'm going to go back to light mode for this video. We also have some options here for the font size and style. So if I have trouble reading the font on here, if it's too small, I can increase that font. Another big thing that lives in here is the screen timeout. So this um, dictates how long my screen is going to stay awake without me touching it. The second option that we have here is to change the wallpaper or the background image on our device. I'm going to keep it as it is right now and go back to our settings. And the third thing here that I want to talk about is the lock screen. Okay, so this controls how the security works on your device. Right now I've got mine set to swipe, but if we go in there, we see that the just swiping the screen to unlock it uh, doesn't really provide any security. I could also do a pin, so just a number uh, that would be medium high security, and then a password would be the most secure option here. I want to talk a little bit about the notification bar, which lives at the top of your device. You can't see it right now, but if you come up to the very top and swipe down from the top middle, it will appear. And then if you swipe down one more time here towards the top again, it will expand. And this is where we see some options that we could have accessed from our settings, but they're just quickly available to us here. Things like Wi-Fi, um, the volume, brightness. You'll see that brightness slider here as well. And you also have the option to quickly jump into your settings from this screen if you don't see what you're looking for here. So you do see that cog or wheel 
there towards the top right of this menu. And then to get rid of this, you can either swipe up or just tap anywhere outside of that notification bar box. If I swipe up from the bottom, I see all of my apps here that are on the device. I can press and hold on any one of these and then just drop it on the home screen there. I can make folders as well. So if I tap and then drag it on top of another app and let go, this is how we create folders. So if you've got apps that are related to each other and you don't want all the apps to take up your entire screen space, you can put the related ones together into a folder. Let's move on to tip number five the recent app. So that recent apps button is the three lines down at the bottom. Um, it may look a little bit different on your device. For instance, my phone, the recent apps icon is a square um, or yours may be two squares on top of each other. So it, it may look a little bit different than what we see here, but I'm going to tap on these three lines. And these are all the different apps that I've been in. And I can close these. We see the option down here towards the bottom to close all of those at once. Or I could just swipe up on the one I wanted to close. So if I wanted to close settings, I would just find that window and swipe up. Number six, let's look at the keyboard. We're gonna do a little bit of typing and look at some of the things that we can do here, some shortcuts with the keyboard. So I'm in a blank email message, and I'm just going to use this to practice typing some things out. Um, the first thing I want to go over is caps lock. So to get all capital letters, uh, the up arrow here on either side of the keyboard, you can press and hold or double tap on that. And when it is blue, that means it's caps lock. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the things I want caps locked. And then to turn that off, again, just tap it one time. If you press the space bar two times, that's going to insert a period. So you don't have to look for the um, period down on the keyboard, just space, space, and it'll go ahead and insert one for you. If you're looking for a special accented character, you can press and hold on the letter, so A, and then I can get those accents there, um, and then just press and hold over whichever one I needed to insert there. You'll see down here exclamation, number sign, and the number one, that's going to take us to uh, another page of numbers and symbols, so I can put different things in from there. You'll see here on either side of the keyboard, it says one slash two. So that means there is another page. This is just the first uh, page of symbols there. So I'm going to tap on one, two, and it's going to go over to the second page. So these are some more symbols that you could insert from here. I'm going to tap on ABC down here on the bottom left to go back to the letters on the keyboard. And you'll see there is predictive text that shows up between the keyboard and the rest of the screen there. I'm going to tap the little back arrow here on the predictive text bar. And that's going to take us back to some of our options here. So you'll see a smiley face for being able to put emojis in there. Um, another important one is the microphone, so you can actually tap on that and speak your messages so you don't have to do the typing out yourself. Next three tips are going to be all about apps. So we're going to look at deleting apps, downloading apps, and updating apps. First, to delete any apps that you are no longer using. Um, you can do that from a couple of different places. You can do it from your settings or from the Google Play Store. I'm going to go into settings and we'll look at how to do it from there. In the settings menu, I'm going to scroll down until I find apps right here. And I'm going to tap on apps. 
and then this shows me a list of all the apps that are installed on my device. I can scroll through and find one that I want to get rid of. So I'll do Drive for instance. So I'll tap on Drive. And down at the bottom in the center there I can see I have the option to uninstall. Now if I want to download apps, that's going to be from the Google Play Store. So I'm going to tap on the Home button to get out of our settings here. And then I have a shortcut to the Play Store here on our home screen. So I'm going to tap on that. It takes us into the Play Store where it shows me some apps that it thinks I might like. Um, I'm just going to find something to quickly download here. Let's do Solitaire. So here on this screen, I see the green button at the top to install. I'm going to tap on that. And it does prompt me to complete my account setup. I'm going to tap on continue. And it asks for a credit or debit card, but you can skip this option if you're only going to do free apps. So we see it is working on that download right now. While it's doing that, I'm going to go back. Scroll to the top here. Now the three lines in the top left, if we tap on those, we see a menu. At the very top of that menu is My Apps and Games. I'm going to tap on that and this shows me the apps that I have installed. First it shows me the ones that are available to be updated. I can choose to update all or I can choose whichever ones I want to update individually. Whenever you are updating apps you want to make sure that you're on Wi-Fi so it doesn't use up your data to do the updates for those. Very last thing we're going to look at today, tip number 10, is our storage. So that's going to be in our settings. I'm going to tap on the settings again. Now if I'm not quite sure where storage lives or where whatever setting I'm trying to find lives, there is a search option. So you'll see the little magnifying glass towards the top right, or you may have a search bar at the top of your settings. I'm going to tap on that. And then I'm going to search for storage All right so that first option there that pops up i'm going to tap on that and then it shows me how much space is being taken up 97.3 gigabytes is available so i'm only using 30.7 of my 128 gigabytes if i tap on advanced i get some more details so a lot of that space is being taken up by photos, a lot is being taken up by music and audio, but really the main thing here I see down is uh, other apps is taking up 14 gigabytes, so that's really a lot of what's being taken up there. And then tapping on that, it shows me separately the different apps that are taking up uh, in that category. So I see that RB Digital is taking up the most space uh, right now with six gigabytes. So if I am short on space and I need to clear out a certain amount of space, I can go through this list and find something I'm not using anymore, make sure it's going to free up enough space, and then uninstall it. So those were our 10 tips for Android today. We looked at, our first tip was about updates, making sure your device is up to date. Our second tip involved personalization, so changing the lock screen options, the wallpaper, and some other things with the display. Our third tip was about the notification bar and some of the things that you can find there by swiping from the top middle down. Um, our fourth tip was organizing your apps, so putting them into folders or adding shortcuts on the home screen. Our fifth tip was looking at the recent apps, which is one of the buttons down there at the bottom near the home and the back button. So seeing our recent apps and being able to close those or uh, go back into a recent app. Our sixth tip involved the keyboard. So we looked at some, <clears throat> some tricks uh, and quick things that uh, we could do on the keyboard typing. 
Our seventh tip was deleting apps. Our eighth tip was downloading new apps. Our tip number nine was updating apps that had already been installed but just needed to be updated. And tip number 10, our final tip was about storage, uh, going into our settings and see how much space is taken up by the apps and uh, where we could possibly free up some space uh, by deleting some of those. All right, thank you guys for watching today. Please like and comment.